Right, watch me practice. I'm gonna do low notes and runs. So it's a it's a crazy run with a really low note in it, like really low. Here we go. Have a listen. Okay, it's As Yet, and it's one of the singers from As Yet. I forgot his name. He's the deeper voice guy. It's so crazy. It's at 142 in the song. All right, <clears throat> bit sick. Sorry for that spitting and whatever. So I just woke up. I just did a, I woke up about 20 minutes ago. Oh no, I didn't wake up 20 minutes ago, but I didn't use my voice yet. I did no warm ups, no nothing. I did a falsetto watch me practice video right before this. So that's where I'm starting from. I don't do no special warm ups, no nothing. I go straight into the singing. But what I do is I make the singing easy enough so that it feels like a warm up. I don't need to do no special exercises to warm up. No special scales, no special lip chills, no special breathing exercises. Straight to the singing, except you just make it easier by lowering the pitch or by slowing it down. All right, here we go. I'm gonna train now. <clears throat> yes, I'm a bit sick. You can hear my voice a little bit phlegmy. Nose is a little bit blocked, but not enough to not train. It doesn't feel like it's hurting. I got another sore throat or anything. I still feel like I can train, do this training. It actually feels good to do low notes right now. It feels good. So, here we go. Oh, you can practice along. I'm just going to show you how I practice. It's just going to be exactly how I practice. Okay, no. This is exactly how I practice when I'm work, walking to work. Normally, I'm in Fiji now. Fiji. But this is how I would practice when I'm walking to work. And, uh, or when I'm at home. All right, here you go. <laughs> I've done this one before a lot, so I know it. But I'm practicing it because it's still very fast for me and it's really low too. So that's the practice, it only takes like two minutes or something, you know? That's what it sounds like me trying to do it full speed. Don't quite have it. It's way better than it used to be though. Here's me doing it slower, like by myself. That's slower. I feel like I can do it a bit faster than that. La, la, oh. Yeah, that feels about right, about that speed. Maybe it's a little bit too fast for me, that speed, but around about there, it's around 75, I think. Man, when I used to train this run, when it got to like 40, 50% speed, I couldn't even hear it. Like, I could not even hear what the notes were doing at all. That was too fast for me. I remember training it like about two years ago, one or two years ago. And now I can clearly hear it when it's at full speed. I can't do it when it's at full speed, but I can clearly, clearly hear it. And that's the thing about these watch me practice things. I want to show you guys like ear training is half the battle. You have to train your ear to hear what you're aiming for. Because usually people can't hear runs when they're this fast. They can't even tell what the notes are. They might hear it, but they can't go. La. They can't tell you those are the notes. 
They can't just tell you that because it's too fast for them to even tell what's happening. They just go, Lah. most most people will do that even if they're advanced because they just can't hear those details. So when I slow it down like this, I'm not only training my voice to go faster, but I'm training my ear to hear it faster. Okay. I hope you guys are getting a lot out of these watching me practice videos. I'm very transparent. I'm just what kind of teacher shows themselves training? Okay, you don't see that on YouTube. I'm trying to give you guys something different so you can see what it's like, show you even my vulnerabilities. Like, um, I did not do this earlier because I'm trying to hide. I just didn't think of it, this kind of video. Um, it's awesome for you guys to see how, like, how someone's training and that everyone has a weak spot that they're working towards. Maybe some teachers are completely developed and they don't have many weak spots. Maybe they can do runs really fast. Maybe their vibrato is great. Maybe their range is great. Maybe they're fully developed, you know. And some teachers, maybe they're not. So this is good. Even teachers can watch me and learn. And I hope you students are watching me and learn. And remember, this is really advanced. What I'm doing is very advanced. You can use this to train if you want, but um, if you don't, know what your level is I recommend you come see me first and you get an idea because there's other things to train that are like easier than this like just training the normal words of the song for example last night you are so into it just training like how to sing like that perfectly first before you do runs though training runs can develop your ability to sing the normal words much better because it trains your ear and your voice to match pitches so well that you will start to sing the rest of the song much better than you did before you trained runs. So runs are also a great way to just train your general singing. You don't need to even just train the, the words necessarily because the runs will train that ability of your ear and your voice to be on the note, right on the note the whole time. I've trained runs for a couple years now and um, Whenever I go back to old songs that I haven't sang in ages, I'm just able to sing them so much better. And I've never even had to practice them, just because my ear, and inside my brain, my ear is so much better developed that I can, I know what I'm aiming for better than I used to. And my voice can do it better from doing all the practice with the runs, that they can hit notes better, so that when I go to hit those notes of those songs that I haven't sung in years, they're just way better. The songs are way better and I don't even need to go practice them specifically because they're just way better. Not just the runs, like just the normal, oh, excuse me, just like the normal singing parts. All right, guys, Rashid Hayek, rmbsinglessons.com. Rashid Hayek, rmbsinglessons.com. If you want to learn how to do this, if you want to learn how to improve your voice, come see me, man. I've got you. I can show you how to improve. This isn't a game. Stop wasting time. Come get a lesson. Let me tell you where you're at and let me tell you how to practice. You don't need to do lessons every week, man. You just need to get a lesson every now and then. Get an update. Get the technique. Get the practice technique. Know what you suck at so you can get through it. That's what I'm for, to help you get through the part that you're not good at yet. Or you might be good, but you might want to get even better. And I'll find something for you that you're not good at and make you better at it. Help you make yourself better at it. I'm the coach. I don't need to be able to do it, but I can show you how to do it. I can show you how to get there. I can show you how to push yourself and the technique to push yourself to get there instead of just staying stagnant and not getting better. Screw that. Alright guys, see you next time.